Well, we all know how important in the modern day game batting and bowling is. That brilliant century, great delivery, can all win games. But there's one key factor that's often overlooked, and that's fielding. What a piece of fielding. What a wonderful piece of uh, athleticism. Gone. Mark Moore taking a very good catch at first slip. Stuart McGill's got his man. Mark Moore again has taken an excellent catch at first slip. Today we look at the art of slips catching. The key to good slips catching is the setup. For me, I like to have my feet at shoulders width apart, knees bent, hands in position pointing to the ground, and eyes straight ahead. It's crucial to concentrate on every ball. The next one could be the one that comes your way. Soft hands are also vital, and give with the ball as you catch it. Catching the ball with two hands wherever possible is also crucial. And remember, when the ball comes above your chest, have your hands pointing upwards. Well, gone straight down the throat the first slip. Oh, great catch! Superb catch, Matthew Hayden at third slip. Darren Gang was trying to work the ball on the leg side, got a leading edge, and Matthew Hayden's taken a beauty. To the air, that's out. Very well caught, Mark Moore. That second slip. That was an excellent catch. Now remember a good tip. Always keep your eye on the ball. And maybe one day you can turn a game with a great catch. Crack. Got him, what a catch, the catch of the season. Ricky Ponting dives across, it was a good shot, he hit it hard, it was wide and short, and that was a gem of a catch. Threw himself, got it both hands, and all of a sudden they're four down. Like most cricketers, I enjoy batting and bowling, but I also enjoy fielding. With lots of hard work, practice and dedication, you too will have a lot of fun fielding. He's decided to sweep him. This is over. Is it going to be caught? Oh, yes. Well taken. Beautifully taken. Lovely timing down there. Damien Martin went back a few metres and, uh, oh, sensational catch. There's two ways to take a catch in the outfield. Either with your fingers pointing up or my preferred option with the fingers pointing down and letting the ball come to you. Again, it's vital to watch the ball all the way into the hands. When the ball is hit over your head, turn and chase. That's it, it's all, oh, it's high, it's miles in the air. Hughes is coming around, and so it's all, oh, it's a what a catch! That's the great, the greatest catch. Oh, unbelievable, Stephen Wall. Never get into the situation where you're running backwards. Well, it's difficult. He's making it more difficult. Matthew Hoggar. Mine! Always remember to call loud and clear, because this might happen. Well, that's gone in the air. This is going to be safe, is it? No, this might be out. Oh, there's a collision. Oh, a dreadful collision down there. Dreadful collision. At our practice, we spend a heap of time on outfield catches. So get a mate, hit some high balls, and remember, practice makes perfect. Oh! He's really gone for that one. There's a chance in the outfield. Oh, and what a very good catch. That's a terrific catch there. Glenn McGrath, he is a good outfielder. But sometimes out in the middle, you need to improvise, whether it's a great catch, a diving stop, or a run out. But if you happen to pull it off, there's no better feeling. In the air. Oh, what a catch! What a catch! That is unbelievable. Damien Martin, full length to his right. Boy, he has taken an absolute jaffer. Well, that's in the air, and it's staying up there. This could be caught. It'll be a good catch, mind you. No. He's picked it up on the bounce. That's very good fielding. Very, well, very good fielding. And this may well be out. What an incredible bit of fielding. Oh, that's wonderful. 
that is absolutely wonderful. Mark Waugh is brilliant. That is terrific stuff. As the Zimbabweans found out, the backhand flick has always been a favourite of mine. Or the little throw on the run. Come on, get it! Run, run. Bowler's head. Well, I reckon he's just about done him. Brian Lara came in, and I reckon uh, he's taken the next wicket. If at all possible, always try to use the conventional method. Only improvise if you need to. What a piece of fielding. What a wonderful piece of uh, athleticism. There's no better feeling than taking a great catch or running someone out. So get out there and have lots of fun and enjoy yourself. Oh, great catch. Mark Moore again. Outstanding catch in the left hand. And Mark Moore's taken an absolute scream. If you look at the best cricketers in the world today, you'll find that most are exceptional fielders. To become a good all-round cricketer, it's important that you work on your fielding as well. Oh, that's wonderful work. That is a direct hit, and it looked to me as though Ponting might have claimed a victim. There are two obvious ways to affect a run out, overarm and underarm. When you're close to the wicket, underarm is best. It takes less time and is easier to be accurate. Chance here and he's out. That will be out. Yes, umpire Simon Taufel does not even call for the third umpire. But when you're further out you will need to throw the ball overarm. Your target wherever possible should be the base of middle stump. Teamwork is vital in runouts. When you've got time, it's always better to throw it to the man over the stumps. Oh, here's trouble. Run out. What a sad ending. They collided. There was hopeless uh, running between wickets. There was a slip, a collision, and a sad end to what has been a defiant uh, effort from Ridley Jacobs. Of course, the good fielders make it look easy, but only through constant hard work and practice will you get it right. Oh, this will be close, will it hit? Oh, he's hit the stumps all over the place. As a cricketer, you spend a lot of time in the field. Now, you can help your team out and your bowlers out by saving as many runs as possible. Oh, what a magnificent stop. Well, you don't get uh, many better stops than that. Absolutely magnificent. Well, that's a terrific save by Ricky Ponting. It's driven and it's knocked down. That's Chance. Oh, he's safely back. He's magnificent, McGrath. Big anger of a fast bowler. If at all possible, try not to be too fancy. The key is to get behind the ball, either by getting side on, knee down, leaving no space for the ball to go through. Or if you're in a more attacking position, get your foot behind the ball, get as low as possible, throwing either underarm or overarm. After you've got the ball, your throw is vital to saving runs. The correct way to throw the ball is a step towards your target, fingers across the seam, non-throwing arm also pointing towards the target. Bringing your arm over as straight as possible and remember to follow through. Try to avoid throwing round arm. It's not accurate and you could cause an injury. That could go away to the boundary for four. It's running away towards the rope. It's going to get there. Desperate stuff. Oh, what an effort. What an incredible effort down there. Did he touch the rope? Damien Martin. Another good tip when you're feeling, because you're out in the sunshine all day, cap, sunglasses, and sunscreen. Oh, oh, oh. And well fielded. 